Hostels are supposed to be cheap, enjoyable, and a good way to travel. But my first experience was absolutely awful. <coughs> the only advantage of someone snoring in my room was that I've managed to get up nice and early, so I thought I'd make the most of the morning and go check out a camp shop which is around the corner. Hopefully I can get myself an inflatable bed, but I'll find out in a minute. That shop didn't have any. It was more of like an excursion adventure camping shop, like actually book adventures, where they give me a list of other places to try. Most of them don't open till 10, but that just gives me enough time to pack up, get all my stuff ready, and then I'll head there. Fingers crossed I can get it sorted because I don't really want to stay in a hostel again. And I do quite like camping, as long as the bed doesn't deflate. Here's a quick tour of the room. Seven beds, lockers, toilets, my bed, and a lovely balcony with an incredible view. But I do need to get ready. So I'm all checked out. I've left all my stuff in the locker in the hostel, which is quite nice, so I can explore the area. I was planning on going to a place called Lauterbrunnen, which is about an hour cycle away and staying there tonight, but there's no availability, so I'm staying in a campsite about two miles from here. But now I just need to go try and find that sleeping mat. Okay, so that was more of a B and Q of Switzerland. They had a few camping bits, but not what I'm after. The woman did give me another two shops though, so let me try it. This shop has one, but it's got no pillow in it. I'm gonna check the last store, it's only around the corner before I come back and buy that one if there's no other option. They've only got a map, but it's in a box. So the one in the other shop's gonna have to do. Mission somewhat accomplished. I say somewhat, because it wasn't exactly what I'm after, but it'll do. Okay, let me just update you as to what's happened because I got that sleeping mat about four hours ago and a lot has happened since then. So first of all, I met up with the Donovan gang. I used to work with a vet um, and it turned out she was in Switzerland at the same time with her family. So we met up, had a chat, had a catch up, had some drinks and it was lovely. I said goodbye to them, went back to the hostel, grabbed all my stuff because it was in a locker in the hostel, put it back on the bike and cycled to a campsite. Campsite's only about two and a half miles from Interlaken, which is where the hostel was the night before. So anyway, I set up my tent, but last night I saw this like lookout spot on top of one of the mountains. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go check it out. So I got the train from the train station right next to the campsite back into Interlaken. And the plan was to get the cable car up to this viewpoint, but it's like a 45 minute queue. But do you know what else takes 45 minutes? The hike up to the top. I wasn't anticipating on doing this, Truthfully, I'm not too sure I want to do this. It's three and a half kilometers up a hill and that's sort of where I'm at now. So I best get walking. Okay, so I think Google Maps might have lied to me. I've just found this sign here, which says Hard the Corn, which is where I'm trying to go, is two hours and 10 minutes away. I don't think I want to hike that, truthfully. I mean, where I've got to already is still a pretty spectacular view but I've got to fully commit and get up to the top. Let's revert back to the original plan. Quick. <laughs> well, that was slightly dangerous. I think that's my cue to leave. What an experience though. Um, however, the cue to get down is pretty hefty, but at least I get to wait with some incredible views. 